Okay guys, welcome to another Logic Pro X video and in this one Let me take you down Cause I'm going to visit the old plugins Now most of us are using Logic Pro X 10.4 now We've got all the new stuff like Chroma Verb which replaces the old Platinum Verb and what have you But we can still get access to all the old plugins effects and instruments going way back, way back in time. Here I have an instrument track, here's its channel. Now if you know Logic beyond a complete beginner's level, you know that with an instrument track you don't have to load an instrument from the library, which is a channel strip preset which loads the instrument and all the effects. You can go to the channel here and load the raw instrument into the instrument slot. Just click the slot there is all the Logic instruments, right? Plus the utilities like the click and the test oscillator. There's the drum machine designer. There's the old um, audio unit generators that are used for doing things like playing back MIDI in the browser and stuff, right? But if we go to the instrument slot and hold down the Alt Option key and click, there's the list. And there's the old legacy stuff. There's all the old legacy instruments, all of them. Yeah, including the old guitar, the old horns. Where are they? The old horns. Now these are great because they sound like really early, you know, the old MIDI basic sample horns um, that you might get in really old 80s tracks, things like that. There's some really good stuff in here. And these use very, very low resources, obviously. Right, so there's all your old legacy instruments. And then in the effects slot of an instrument or an audio track, we can put our audio effects. Click, and there's all the effects categorized into folders, right? But again, if we go to the effects slot and hold down the Alt Option key and click to open the list, there is the old legacy stuff, look. Yay! Including the old platinum verb. There it is. And even the old gold verb from the old days, yeah? Yeah, the old A verb. All the old EQs, the DJ EQ, the fat EQ, etc. And you've got really simple stuff in here, like a simple low cut, or a simple high cut, or a simple low pass, or high pass. These use hardly any resources. Really cool for putting basic low cut across, for example, all the tracks if you're doing a multi-track stem session and you want to just do a low cut on all channels to get rid of everything below 40 50 hertz or whatever yeah good simple stuff there's the old platinum verb as i said there's even the old guitar amp pro and the bass amp this is the forerunner of the amp designer we have now the old guitar amp pro check it out so you would put this on an audio track and play through it just like you play through Amp Designer with input monitoring on, right? And there it is. Look, this is the forerunner of the old um, guitar rig, or uh, whatever it's called now. What's the, the new thing called? Amp Designer. Choose your head. Choose your cab. Choose the type of EQ. There's your input gain there. There's the bass, the mids, the treble, the presence, and the master. Then switch on the effects. Um, you've got tremolo or vibrato with depth, speed and sync for the speed and here's your reverb with three different types of spring and you can choose a condenser or dynamic mic etc. Yeah. All the old stuff is there right? So just alt click on the slot there's all your legacy instruments if you do that on an instrument slot and alt click on the audio effects slot there's all your legacy old effects including all the old, you know, the silver gate, the silver compressor, etc. Even the old speech enhancer. Yeah. There's the lovely old gold verb. Remember that from the old days, like, you know, going way back to like Logic 4, 5, etc. So it's all in there. I mean, obviously these effects are there in the background. These, these plugins are there in the background because if you were going to load up a really old project which had platinum verbs in or even older gold verbs, um, if those plugins were missing from the system, then the project would load up with the plugins missing. So anyway, there it is. I hope that's useful. Just Alt and click on the instrument or the effects slot and get access to all the old legacy stuff. 